Today, we will learn decimal numbers and tenths. We often hear in the news that the price of petrol has increased by 10 paise and diesel by 16 paise. The price of petrol in Delhi will be rupees 71 and 12 paise and the price of diesel will be rupees 66 and 35 paise. Similarly, have you ever carefully observed the bill receipt when you purchase items from a shop? Are prices of items mentioned on it in whole numbers only? You must have seen a point being used in such numbers. We call it the decimal point. Decimal point is used to separate a whole number from its parts. For example, with the help of a decimal point, 71 rupees and 12 paise are separated. Similarly, 66 rupees and 35 paise are also separated. Numbers in which a decimal point is used are called decimal numbers. Decimal numbers are another way to represent fractions. We can say that decimal numbers are the decimal forms of a fraction. So, in this video, let's understand the decimal numbers that are expressed till the tenths place. Let's assume we call a big square as a whole. If we divide it into 10 strips of equal size, then each strip will represent one tenth part of the whole. If we shade three parts out of these, then what will be the fraction of the shaded part of this whole square? Think a little. The fraction of the shaded part will be 3 by 10 or 3 tenths. We can represent any fraction in decimal form if its denominator is 10, 100, 1000, etc. Here, 3 by 10 is represented in decimal form as 0 0.3. Decimal numbers are obtained when fractions are represented in decimal form. Therefore, we can say that decimal numbers are the decimal form of a fraction. We can say that if the denominator of a fraction is 10, then to represent it in decimal form, we write the numerator first and then we place the decimal point before its rightmost digit. If there is only one digit in the numerator, then we place a zero before the decimal point. Let's arrange this in the place value table. We already know that by moving towards the right, the value of each place is decreased by 10 times. Following this sequence, we will add another place in the table which we will call the tenths place. Since it is to the right of the units place, the value of this place will also be one tenth of the units place, which is one tenth. So, we can say that in 0 0.3, there are zero units and three tenths. Thus, we can say that the decimal point separates the units from the tenths, which means it separates a whole from its parts. Now look at this. Here, one complete hole is shaded and 6 by 10 parts of another hole is shaded. So, we will write 1 in the units place and since 6 out of 10 parts are shaded, we will write 6 in the tenths place. This will be represented in the decimal form as 1.6. Remember that we don't write the decimal point in the place value table. Today. We learn decimal numbers and tenths. In the next video, we will learn conversion of fractions into decimal and conversion of decimal into fractions.